Hello and thanks for joining me on Sport Pilot James Glory on another exciting edition of Sport Vibe on TNT Work will bring you exciting and latest sport happenings across the world of sport every Tuesday. This week won't be an exception, so I would implore you to please stay tuned because we'll be right back shortly after this break. Welcome back, it's a beautiful Tuesday as we start from the home soil talking about the Nigerian Professional Football League. We we'll talk about the former captain of the Nigerian football team, Ahmad Musab, going back to represent the home base team Kano Pillars during the weekend. He was able to score a brace to help Kano Pillar get their win during the weekend is an interesting one with so many experience that Ahmad Musa has is back to Kanopila representing the home base team in the Nigerian professional football league was able to score a brace in fact he could have made it an hat trick if he had scored the penalty that he missed from the penalty spot is an interesting one also in the Nigerian professional football league ongoing right now after five matches we can see that Rivers United are currently occupying the top position in the Nigerian professional football league having played five matches they have been able to win four and they have only been able to draw one in the Nigerian Professional Football League and in the second position is the Ayimba team occupying the second position in the third position is the Red Monsters and in the fourth position is the Enugu Rangers occupying the fourth position in the Nigerian Professional Football League and in the bottom table of the Nigerian Professional Football League we could see teams like Bayelsa United, we could see Aqua United and we can see Korodu City occupying the 18th, 19th and the 20th position in the Nigerian Professional Professional Football League. These three teams that I've mentioned are yet to win a match in the Nigerian Professional Football League this season. The Nigerian Professional Football League has started and we have seen five matches played. We will be seeing Kano Pillars going back to the top of the table after Ahmed Musa made a switch to the Kano Pillars, coming with so many experience in the world of football to the home base team Kano Pillars to help them this season in the Nigerian Professional Football League. But quickly let's switch our attention to the international level where we talk about Paula Billy Pogba. His fans must be happy that Paula Billy Pogba finally has gotten the band lifted and is expected to be back to playing football in the year 20. 25 starting from March, Paula Billy Pogba, who was initially banned by the Football Federation to stop participating in football for four years, has seen that reduced to just a year when we'll be back in the year 2024. Paula Billy Pogba, a World Cup winner and a midfielder who played for Juventus, will be back to the world of football. Juventus has already said they are here to decide his future and they are waiting for him to be back. Should Paula Billy Pogba start looking for another team to play for? Should he be going back to Manchester United to help Bruno Fernandes with their cap? and their creative machine at the art of the midfield because if you ask me right now Manchester United needs some creative hands to be getting goals in the Premier League and also still talking about football at the international stage we talk about the UEFA Champions League where we witnessed some matches played during the midweek in the UEFA Champions League and an interesting one is that Aston Villa were able to defeat Bayern Munich in the group stage of the match to put an end to Bayern Munich 41 group stage matches unbeaten in the Champions League. This was an interesting one as we saw Duran coming off the bench to help Aston Villa get their win against Bayern Munich as the Vicente Company side suffered the first defeat in a long while at the group stage in the UEFA Champions League. And another interesting one talking about the UEFA Champions League as synonymous to that competition. You know that Real Madrid is the most successful team in the UEFA Champions League. They were defeated by Leeds during the midweek also to end their 36 matches on beating in the competition is an interesting one as we could see that David Jonathan was able to score a decisive goal for Leeds as they were able to get the all three points against the Galacticos 
in the UEFA Champions League was an interesting one for the Spanish side where we talk about Barcelona after suffering their defeats to Osasuna during the weekend were able to bounce back against the young boys young boys indeed as they were able to inflict them with a defeat five goals to zero in the UEFA Champions League for Barcelona side and the Asiflik side bouncing back in the UEFA Champions League after their initial defeat to Benfica after collecting a red card in the first match of the season talking about the UEFA Champions League is an interesting one also as we could see that Borussia Dortmund were able to get a win against Celtic seven goals to one in the UEFA Champions League during the weekend and also it's a great one as we saw so many events took place during the weekend in the world of football we'll be talking about this shortly when we rise back from the break Welcome back and still talking football back from the break we talk about the Premier League where we witnessed so many matches played during the weekend as we witnessed so many goals scored in the Premier League during the weekend Manchester City were able to go away with a narrow win against Fulham during the weekend as we saw Kovacic scoring the two goals for Manchester City and Fulham didn't give up without a fight against Manchester City but they were only able to go with just two goals and a defeat against the defending champion Manchester City during the weekend is an interesting one for Arsenal Football Club as they were able to defeat Southampton three goals to one during the weekend and this means that Arsenal Football Club are the second club in the Premier League to have won 400 home game matches in the Premier League. You remember that Arsenal were able to defeat Southampton three goals to one, a team where we saw their former goalkeeper Aaron Ramsey keeping for the Southampton side. Bukoya Saka was involved in some goals in the Premier League last weekend and this means that just after Manchester United who has been able to achieve the feat of winning above 400 matches in the Premier League at home Arsenal Football Club has also been able to equal the tally of winning exactly 400 home matches in the Premier League is an interesting one talking about that win for Arsenal Football Club as they keep mounting pressure on Manchester City at the top of the Premier League table but you can take nothing away from Liverpool who currently are sitting at the top of the Premier League table after being able to defeat Crystal Palace one goes to zero Liverpool who are here to face a challenge from the top four teams in the Premier League this season and after the international break Liverpool will be playing the teams like Chelsea they'll be playing the teams like Manchester City after the international break and that's where their real tails come as they are currently sit at the top of the Premier League table and talking about the win against Fulham where Manchester City were able to defeat Fulham three goals to two and this means that Manchester City has been able to win 15 matches across all competition at the Etihad Stadium undefeated is an interesting one for them on the Pep Guardiola Manchester City are a force to reckon with in the world of football but quickly let's switch our attention again to the Spanish La Liga where Barcelona were able to bounce back after suffering their first defeat in the Spanish La Liga against Osasuna during the weekend is an interesting one as they were able to defeat Deportivo Alaves three goals to zero Barcelona under as a flick has been showing their dominance in the world of football could Robert Lewandowski be back in the world of football under his former manager as a flick as he was able to score and Atric during the weekend against the Deportivo Alaves as they currently occupy the top position maintaining their three-point lead ahead of Real Madrid in the Spanish La Liga is an interesting one for Real Madrid also who were able to get a win during the weekend but the win that Real Madrid got during the weekend didn't mean that they are at the top of the Spanish La Liga. Real Madrid are sitting second, just three points behind Barcelona in the Spanish La Liga. And after the international break, we'll be witnessing an, an El Clasico played between these two in just the second match after the international break. With Real Madrid be able to extend their unbeaten streak that they have in the La Liga if they are able to defeat Barcelona at the El Clasico, or will Anse Flick be able to get his first win in his first? A classical against Real Madrid. Let's keep our fingers crossed. This is just two weeks ahead of now in the world of football. And talking about the Italian Serie A, Napoli occupies the first position in the Italian Serie A and they continue to maintain their sport as we saw 
McTominay is calling another goal on Friday to help them maintain their spot in the Serie A table and it's an interesting one also talking about the former Manchester United goalkeeper. We talk about David DJ saving two penalties during the weekend to help Florentina get a win against AC Milan. And another one that we won't fail to talk about in the world of football is going back to the Premier League to talk about the match between Brighton and Hope Labium and Tottenham Hotspur where we saw Brighton coming back from behind to get a decisive win against Tottenham Hotspur who are initially leading two goals to zero during the half time but we saw Brighton and Overbeam coming back from behind to win that match three goals to two and talking about the Premier League also we talk about Manchester United and Aston Villa where Aston Villa and Manchester United during the weekend could only play a draw in the Premier League after the draw of Manchester United with Aston Villa this means that the Ten Hag side has only been able to accumulate eight points after playing seven matches in the Premier League this season they have been only been able to score five goals in the Premier League this season the team that has scored the least is Southampton teams like West Ham who are the slow starts to the Premier League at the same point with Manchester United but they are sitting above Manchester United at the top of the Premier League table where Manchester United currently occupies the 14th position in the Premier League a team of such caliber should be occupying that kind of position at the beginning of the Premier League this season but what can we do? I'm sure that Arsenal fans, Chelsea fans and the rivalry fans are proud of Eric Ten Hag and what he's doing with Manchester United sitting at the 14th position. The only people sad about this result right now are the boards and the players of Manchester United who are not making their fans happy across the world of football. And this is the length at which we'll be going on this week's episode of Sport Vibe on DNT. Well, for more news and sports stories, follow us across our various social media and the Sport Vibe on DNT. Work. Enjoy your week. Remain blessed. Stay safe. Thank you.